it was very personal, and I felt like Oda was like calling me straight. You felt like out. it was an attack. You felt like Oda attacked. <laughs> we finally got to see One Piece film red, and we're here to share our thoughts, give our review on the movie. It wasn't what I expected, but that doesn't mean I didn't enjoy it. We're going to have a spoiler-free section just in case you haven't had a chance to see the movie yourself yet. Um, And then we'll jump into some spoilers after that. But I just want to get right into it, Megan. Sure. Um, How did you feel going into the movie? Um, Spoiler-free thoughts Mm. that you want to share with anybody who hasn't seen it yet. Um, Obviously, with a One Piece movie, they're all like so good. Um, I haven't seen one that I've been like, that was bad, you know, I, I, I yet um, at all. And being caught up and this being the first movie that's come uh, that it, that's coming out um, was a lot of like expectations and like a lot of excitement. And we had known about it for, you know, months now and just mm-hmm. waiting and having those expectations and seeing, uh, you know, promo art and hearing all the songs like we were just so, so, so excited. Um, and I think that I wouldn't say all or everyone, but I think that a lot of people were expecting a lot of different things from the movie. Um, And I was just like, obviously there were some things that I was kind of like, oh, I wish we got more of that. Uh, But, you know, overall, it wasn't anything that uh, I would say ruined it or or made it bad or anything. Right. I think it's uh, perfect that you said, like, in our own experience, You know, this was the first movie we got to go see theatrically um, after being caught up. And it's because of that, it's a movie that we got to, like, follow through its promotional phases that it went through. We got to watch all the music videos. We got to see all of Uta's, you know. um, Anime only episodes. The anime only episodes. We got to Mm -hmm. see her live show, her, like, V V (laughs) VTuber, you know, idol shows. Um, And so, you know, we were building up. I think me personally, I, I was my expectations I, were, were getting, you know, built up to maybe an unrealistic degree, uh, <laughs> especially because, um, again, w- when this movie first came out, like and it could be the YouTube narrative as well. But it was also a part of the marketing of the movie itself. It was sold as like a Shanks movie. Um well, it's like the you reveal hear, that Uta is Shanks' daughter and Shanks' yeah. involvement in the movie was was huge. It was like really, really built up to be like Shanks the movie, uh, but it was you know Uta the musical. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, you know, again, being someone who does like uh, idols, I like idol anime. I like uh, idols in general. Like J-pop is like something that I really like to listen to. So Otto, like being in the forefront of the movie and all of the songs, and you know, I, I like musicals. So telling stories through song is something that I really enjoy um so I think there was a lot of moments that like really like hit um I would say like the the later half the latter half of the movie I would say was like they have some really really great 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 moments um yeah not saying that it wasn't whole complete um but I mean y- y- like with expectations right like there was a actually a music video that we both watched for mm. where the wind blows directed by Megumi Ishitani mm. and there was Amazing. uh if you haven't watched it, it, it we thought it spoiled something huge uh but it really doesn't and I want to go back and look at it because there is a character in that music video that we didn't know who it was and now it makes sense that you know who it is um i think it represents something different with like the two sides of uta not necessarily like uta was two people (laughs) uh so that's i was like oh my gosh like that was crazy and that's what i think like that seeing that music video really shot up the expectation for uta's backstory in general um but i mean yeah overall and that's what I want to just tell anybody who hasn't seen this movie yet. Um, if you love One Piece, will you love this movie? I mean, I do yes. think it depends on what you love about One Piece. Mm-hmm. Generally speaking, I would say, yeah, of course. Because nobody who hasn't seen One Piece or doesn't like One Piece is going to go see this movie. I mean, maybe, maybe. Um, <laughs> but I mean, I feel like most people are people who already enjoy the series. So, you know, you're probably going to enjoy it. I enjoyed it. But if you're someone who is really interested in power scaling and, and fights and mm. and things like that. Um, it, it's it's really not that, or lore. I mean, it's really not that, not that anybody goes to a movie that's not exactly canon for lore, but, you know, 
with Stampede, there was the laugh tale sort of mm-hmm. reveal mm-hmm. Uh, that was given that was canon. And there are other, like, I think Shiki from Strong World is canon uh, in the One Piece world. So not that there aren't things that, that are, but, you know, if you're into, like, major lore dumps or Shanks' backstory or, you know, um, fights, then, uh, you know, you might not like it. But if you like the spirit of One Piece, if you like what One Piece is about, which is joy, then you're probably going to really enjoy this movie. Yeah, I that would be a that, that's a crazy statement to say like if you if you if you <laughs> just say like any One Piece fan like if you're a One Piece fan you'll like it. It's not I, I wouldn't say like take away. I mean you might be disappointed, but you'll still enjoy seeing mm. these characters. But um yeah, I would say, you know, if you're going into it like you said going, you know, thinking it's going to be all fight scenes and all like uh, crazy, crazy battles, um, then I would go into it differently. And that's not a bad thing. No, I'm just trying to temper expectations. That's all I'm saying. Because again, I think I did myself a major disservice by expecting way too much from this movie. Did I walk away having a good time? Yes. Do I think that you will too if you love One Piece? Yes. But just temper those expectations as as far as like, you know, what you're going to see in terms of all those things I mentioned before. Because in Stampede, you know, it was like a, a a nonstop fight scene from start to finish. However, like plot um, might have left a little to be desired. But, you know, there is, I think, a, a bigger plot in this movie. Um, and uh, there are a lot of things to love about it. And I actually think that on second viewing, now that I've seen it, yeah. and we only saw it one time. And we saw it in the uh, uh, original Japanese um you know, uh, 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 you know, with the original Language. Japanese, uh, yeah, uh, you know, English VAs, subtitles, yeah, uh, and English subtitles. Um, it, it was hard to take everything in. It was a visually stunning movie for sure. Oh yeah, and it was so hard to take everything in and yeah. read the titles. We saw it in IMAX too, which was a, an amazing experience. Yeah, it was great, and uh, yeah, I, I think definitely uh, for someone who like can read pretty quickly. Uh, I want to watch it again and sit like in the farthest seat so I can get the whole picture. Right. Um, so it might be a little easier. Uh, but I mean, IMAX, yeah, that experience, especially because it is a music driven movie. Um, it was just like perfect. I don't I, I mean, that's like the viewing experience because yeah. it is so music driven. And Otto's voice is just like so crazy. Like it was just I was hearing things behind me. When yeah. there was no one there, and I was like, "Oh, it's that's that scary. IMAX experience." It is, it is. I was like, "But yeah," and the songs themselves were fantastic. The songs oh, yeah. themselves, the album that has been released in tandem with the film is like amazing. They are bangers for sure. Um, but yeah, that was just my personal experience. You know, if you're going and you're looking for for Shanks lore or or to 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 see an epic Shanks fight or Shanks meeting Luffy. Or, you know, if you're going to see crazy straw hat fights Mm. um, uh, where the straw hats all get these like crazy, you know, moments, um, you're not going to get that. And so I just want to tell you that if you haven't seen it yet, just so when and if you do decide to see it, you can enjoy the movie for what it is a little bit more um, and not suffer the same fate I did. Because, again, I I Mm. do think that my experience was, you know, I I didn't uh, I didn't um, give it the fairest shot. Because, again, my expectations were so high. I was my own worst enemy, for sure. I would say my, I I would say my excitement, like, uh, was greater than my expectations, I guess. I was just so excited to see them again. Because we don't watch the anime. We only done a couple anime reactions. Um, We're reading week to week now. And I was just so excited. (laughs) I mean, like, I just wanted to see them in action. Or at least just, like like physically on the screen talking to each other interacting like those are the highlights like that's what I love and um I did love the fact that we got to see and spend some time with some characters that we don't usually get to um as random as they could have been in the movie uh it was really cool to see a couple of them um and you know them interact with each other again um and yeah that was probably another highlight for me yeah the, um, the, the, we the, didn't get to spend so much time with the straw hats all of them but we got to spend time with these other like 
not oddball, but just like characters that we haven't either seen in a long time or we have or just that we never thought that we would get this much time with <laughs> uh, yeah, personally. Like, uh, or to see this particular group of people working together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was really interesting. And I did like how they're like changing the... Uh, they 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 changed the kind of like it is like sticking to that formula I guess with One Piece movies, but they did change it um, a good amount because it wasn't really necessarily focused on the fighting, you know. Yeah, and which, uh, I, which I was like, uh, that's cool. I mean, they got to break out of that a little bit. Yeah, and if you're like an anime only, you know, uh, viewer for whatever reason, then you know, um, you're not going to really get anything spoiled. This this I I know that this movie isn't canon, but you're not going to get spoiled because it takes place in a very strange place. I wouldn't say you won't timeline. get spoiled. There's a couple you'll, you'll, things you'll, you'll that get, you should look out. You sh- you sh- yeah. If you've somehow been able to successfully dodge something that a happened. particular image <laughs> involving Someone. a pretty important character, um, then you might Careful. get that spoiled. Um, <laughs> but it literally is just that you don't even get details about what that even is, what that even means. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's just something that is shown briefly. But, uh, you know, in terms of, I guess, the last maybe non-spoiler thing I like to share with people who haven't seen it yet is, like, personally for me, and then I'd like to ask you the same question. Maybe uh, I'll go first so you have a little time to, to think about it. Mm. Um, but where it, where it ranks with, like, the the last, like, maybe I knew you were going to ask that. I already said my answer. You did? Yeah. You, you said you liked it. Right now, you said, oh, not right now. Oh, yeah, I was oh, like, sorry. did I not hear something? Sorry, yeah, let me just think. Go, go, continue, continue, continue. Um, so for me, I think that I enjoyed and I need to see Film Red again. I really do. That's what um, I wanted to say. I don't want to rank them until I've seen it again. That's fair. That's fair. That's how I feel about it. But for me, on first impressions alone, first viewing, which to be fair, I've only seen Z once. I've only seen Stampede once. I've only seen, you know, gold one and a half times. Um, I feel like I was just way too hype in red for the first viewing. Like my adrenaline was pumping. You were so hype. <laughs> you were so hype. And I hyped. was just like, I couldn't like. And I was too. Um, I mean, I was focusing, but it was just like, damn, like this is this is like the, 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 the adrenaline and like the, the happiness, the serotonin was just like too much for my brain to handle. So I was just sitting there like, like I just like needed to. I need yeah. to watch it again. Yeah. Um, I will say for me, I, I liked Z more. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Z was different mm-hmm. in its like third act um, to me. And it was something that I really welcomed in, a, in an anime like Shonen movie. I, I really liked it a lot. Sort of the resolution of everything. Um, I enjoyed I enjoyed that moment and sort of how the credits sort of roll on that movie. I, I, it really left me it really left an impact on me in that in that moment um you know stampede is just hype uh you know start to finish so i would say that like i i would say it's maybe like i this might i don't know this is my personal opinion i would say maybe it's tied with gold um like i really enjoyed gold um a lot uh and you know stampede and, and red to compare them is so hard because they're two completely different movies and your answer will just depend on like what you enjoy more. If you enjoy fights more, you're going to enjoy Stampede more. Um, but uh, I, yeah, I, I would say, I would say, I'm going to give Red the benefit of the doubt on second watch and say that I do think I will end up liking it and putting it a, a, above Stampede. But that's, but I would put Zia at the top of of that list. Mm. And I don't know. I don't know. I'm still processing mm. everything, um, and that's why you don't have to answer if you don't want to. I would say I liked Film Red better than I liked um, Strong World. Even though I did like Strong World, I liked Red better. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say out of the movies that I've seen so far, I really liked Z, but I think, I mean, because I just watched it, Movie 6 was so, so amazing and it was so different. Um, The Baron Matsudi Mm -hmm. movie was so amazing and it made me feel a way that I had never felt about One Piece before just because of like the medium and everything the animation it was just so so different and it made me just really feel something uh like uh, different for One Piece felt like a different genre of One Piece unlocked uh which I really liked um so I would say 
right now my list would be movie six, Baron Matsudi at the top. Oh wow, okay. Um Filmsy second. Okay. Red third. Okay. Fourth gold. Right. Um and what was the other one? Strong World and Stampede. Uh Stampede, Strong World, and I think is there one more? No. Um, I think that's you don't have to go. So I mean, far I really back. like Stampede, but I'm thinking about like, you know, what 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 uh, the emotional side to it because I did really like the moments in Red too. I mean, like the music really adds to that, like those emotional beats and thinking about like, you know, like the guilt of everything for her for Uta. Like it really was well done. But I would say maybe that's my ranking right that's solid. now. That's solid. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> So I'm I'm trying to think of anything else spoiler free that we could really say about it. Um, again, my mm. advice would just be temper your expectations and just go in ready to have a good time. Don't overthink it. Uh, yeah, don't, it's one don't piece. Don't do what I did. It's one uh, piece. If you like One Piece, you'll like the movie. It's uh, it's different, but it's fun. Yeah, and yeah. and I do appreciate that it's different. Um, but there are some things that I personally wish would have been would have either been given more time or dealt with a little differently. I, um, and that's just my, who the fuck am I? That's just my personal <laughs> opinion. I think that um, with things regarding Shanks, I was maybe expecting a little more, but I didn't expect the whole cake. I knew. Yeah. I knew. There's we no way. Gonna get, He's going to, we Oda's going to put it in the manga. He's going to put it in the manga, not in a movie. That's not canon. Um, there's a couple things that are canon, but yeah, I, there, you know, he has revealed one thing in a past movie that's been pretty substantial. Um, but that was it. It was a line. It was, a, it was a name. So it's like, I, I didn't expect, oh, we're going to get a whole like Shanks flashback. Like it just wouldn't make sense in a movie. Like he's going to save that for, 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 for the manga. But, you know, we do get some information that, you know, where where my theory heads at uh that are that are already like theorizing um what this could mean and like the community is like going rampant with this uh bit of information because it already feeds into something that they've been thinking for a very long time right. which is exciting right um which is like you know that's it's, it's fun it, uh, i i would argue that um you know that would be so hyped to get that information but getting the small slivers of information is just like you you know it's endless right. with, the, with the community which is also just like fun to to right. be on the same level as everyone else yeah yeah. Oh, it um, is humbling us. <laughs> so it was a movie with a, that, that was a lot of fun. There are a lot of emotional moments. It is a good time. Um, don't expect to get again a lot of Shanks <laughs> moments. Don't expect to get you damn. Know, you got hurt. a lot of a lot of you know crazy straw hat moments. Like just go in ready to have a good time because this does do a good job of conveying sort of like the what what One Piece is at at its core, which is just like you know. Silly, fun, fun. Yeah. emotional, and emotional, beats, and emotional. Um, deadbeat dads. <laughs> deadbeat dads um, for sure. It's it's one piece wrapped up right with the with the Uta hair bow. Right. Yeah. Okay, that's gonna do it for our spoiler free conversation. So if you haven't seen the movie yet, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for stopping by. Come back when you do watch the movie. Um, but now we are going to go into spoiler territory. So, you know, back out of your phone, grab your remote, hurry back up. Back out of your phone. Hurry up, uh, because we're about to Wake talk. Up. Spo- Wake up. <laughs> I know you <laughs> fell asleep watching this. Wake up. You're gonna. It's going to sl- seep into your subconscious, uh, because we're going to talk about spoilers now. So, first, the first thing I want to say is, uh, maybe I'm dumb, uh, oh. and, and maybe I just didn't uh, see it, but I was genuinely surprised that Uta was the antagonist like the main oh, yeah. antagonist it was, of this movie. It was honestly, uh, I was excited because I would say rarely do we get like a main woman villain antagonist, not only in movies, but also in One Piece in general. Yeah, and know? I wouldn't even like, go so far as to say villain, but I... Y- I would you say know. misunderstood uh, 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 woman child. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she, yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> That's what it for is. Sure. Uh, so I was like so hyped because I mean, we have we've had characters before like Khalifa, we've had Alvida, we've had um, other characters. Who am I forgetting? Um, what's her name with the wings? Like Brulee, like 
like Big Mom is one of the biggest ones, but I mean, out of like all the other man antagonists, like Croc, Doflamingo, like you know, like main, main, main antagonist, it was cool to see her as like a one of the the villains, especially I for guess. a villain in a movie. Because I don't think, in my memory, out of all the movies that we've seen, I don't remember there being a really at all ever a uh, 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 a female antagonist. Like I don't Mm-mm. think so. And so I, that was yeah. really cool to see, just in 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 you know on its own, yeah. but. The fact that she wasn't a villain, to take it even a step further, which sometimes that's not always the case either. Sometimes people are, you know, misunderstood or their sort of uh, dream or their goal is is skewed. Um, uh, yeah. And it, it isn't always, you know, the most, uh, uh, I don't know, isn't the, isn't the most heroic or the most noble or the ro- most morally correct uh, uh, thing. But um, yeah, it was cool because, you know, she was someone who who thought she was doing a good thing and wanted to help, but was uh, not helping and actually doing a lot of harm. <laughs> and know? I love that. I loved that inner conflict with mm-hmm. her. And I love the reveal that she she she's known the whole time what she's done that like just added a different layer to it. It was like, oh, she's doing this not only for like for everyone to have a good life but she's wanted always wanted before all of that happened you, you know her and luffy like shared the same dream of starting um a new era in whatever ways they wanted to but it meant so much more when she n- knew what she did and like wanted to you know she wanted that uh what's it called she wanted to be like forgiven pretty much she right. wanted to uh clean her like soul uh from this like traumatic event and uh like being left alone yeah being abandoned i mean she was abandoned and she's dealing with that and she's dealing with you know like you said like knowing finding out at a certain point in her life um you know what she did the truth behind this like major incident that kind of like shaped her life yeah um so i really did feel for uta but again i'm being honest these are my uh opinions personal opinions um, I didn't connect with her as much as I thought I was going to, mm. which is kind of crazy. Um, mm. because I absolutely, since the first trailer was released and we got to to see her, I mean, we were in it. Like we were so in it. We were playing uh the songs. We were like watching the YouTube videos. Like I loved her, and I loved how she was being, you know, sort of integrated into the into the manga. I mean, a little bit into the manga, like that one panel, but into the anime. <laughs> Um, however, like when it actually came, I felt for her and I loved sort of her struggle, her inner struggle that she had to overcome. And I did connect with her, but I don't know why I, I guess I expected to connect so much more to her. And again, this is my fault because we watched that, uh, Megumi Ishitani music video. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that video that music video with that same song, I forget the name of the song. It's <clears throat> called um, the Where the Wind Blows. Where the Wind Blows. Beautiful song. Yeah. Beautiful it might song. be my favorite on the yeah. album. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. But I found myself like connect, connected and, and feeling more emotional during that music video than I did for Uta during the movie. And, and that's just, again, me personally. But um, I, I did still connect with her. Um, and I did enjoy that she was the protagonist or antagonist. I'm, I'm sorry. I just didn't see it coming. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, yeah, I, I, I did enjoy um, the moments that we did get. I wish there was more um, with her, uh, especially her and Luffy. A um, little more moments before she's just like, oh, guess what? I hate pirates. Like that, that kind of threw me for a loop. But it, made, it all made sense in the context of like what has happened in her life. Um, but I would say that towards the end, like her like spoiler alert you know her her death scene quote unquote death we don't know she might still be alive um it, it, it was pretty clear but again it wasn't explicitly shown yeah it it, wasn't at least explicitly i don't shown. remember it being explicitly yeah shown. and that that was pretty sad because like you know these like shanks is like holding her and she's like i love that too that little like it was like the cherry on top of like like sadness when they got the when we, they got auto to like record the, the her singing and acting like she's like dying i was like okay mm-hmm. like i already thought this girl was like insanely talented but she just like took 
the cake she gave her awards like that was amazing just that little moment of like acapella singing like mm. no more music no more band no more big trumpets no more techno beats like it was just like soul acapella the the most raw you can get to like musical like heart and soul i was like wow this mm. moment was so amazing that was an amazing moment yeah that was a beautiful sad moment yeah because it's just like you know it's like shanks just like yeah i, I kind of like created this monster mm -hmm. um to a certain extent and that's know? another thing dude like shanks kind of did i mean uh <laughs> I, I you know we only saw the movie one time like we said it was in japanese so it was reading and trying to watch at the same time um but uh yeah i mean shanks i mean there was no real great reason for for i don't feel like there was no like great reason for him like abandoning her the reason why i think he did it again like i don't know shanks can't be bothered like shanks can't be bothered like if something if something with uta happened if something with luffy happened um it would have been like bye like it, you're just you're survival of the fittest like i have a crew to run i'm a pirate like you know that morally gray question we do have with shanks it's like you know he didn't want luffy on his crew because you know Lu he, he knew luffy wasn't ready one and he knew luffy would just cause problems for him and he'd have to abandon him at some point he'd have to leave him and i just think that like he had that in mind with like uta and maybe him maybe it, well that'll go into like the theory later but like i think that like even him and buggy on roger's crew like if they messed up like more than one time like, I just feel like, as nice as Roger was, I, I don't know. I respectfully D disagree. disagree? Um, because... Uh, they're pirates. Sure, they are pirates. They are pirates. But Shanks clearly had an affinity for Uta. He he, he liked her, loved her, um, and even felt like some sort of kinship with her because of, of his own sort of origin, which is a, a, a bomb yeah. that we kind of got. Um, mm. And I know that he did abandon her on paper because I mean, he knew that yeah. she wanted to be a musician mm. more than she wanted to be a pirate and mm -hmm. he didn't want to get in the way of her dream. And I believe that he really wanted that for her. However, he leaves her on this destroyed island in the aftermath of something that she was the cause of with the thing that caused the problem <laughs> like still there. Well, yeah, that um, fool, that fool, he's in the wrong for not throwing that shit out. He was like, I couldn't bring myself to do it. I said, Really? You couldn't bring yourself to do it after everyone on this island perished? Every, you couldn't. The literal only every, survivors are Gordon and Uta and the Red Gordon, Hair. you couldn't bring yourself to do it? Yeah. You couldn't bring I, uh, it. Gordon, Gordon. And I know that after, he wanted to leave her on uh, L L G, I believe it is. Uh, because uh, you know, it was the it's the music island, but it's it ain't no more. It, it wasn't yeah, after talk music got done with it. It was decimated. Literally a wasteland. Literally um, a wasteland. Uh, but what were some of the highlights? I would say, like, what were some of the highlights for you uh, in the movie? I mean, the the, the the main highlight for me, of course, was uh, Uta. Even though I said I didn't feel as connected to her as I thought I was going to, like she was still a highlight. The songs were still a highlight. The songs themselves were really good. And I found myself, you know, um, just, you know, feeling whatever the song was, was trying yeah. to get me to feel like very easily falling into that. Mm. Um, the, the highlights were also, um, like you were saying in the, in the spoiler free section, the highlights were also getting to see everybody who isn't normally paired together, yeah. be paired together. Beppo had one of the funniest moments in the entire movie. Um, getting to see Bartolomeo, even honestly getting to see oven and brulee i know that i know oven is a weird choice but i was happy but i was kind of happy yeah too. i don't know why i just think i have like a special place in my heart for whole cake so just like seeing them together i was like that's exciting no i mean th I, yeah i was super excited the moment they came on screen i was like whoa what the heck um I, yeah I, they I, really I like jumped burst in that onto the scene bitch. Yeah. they were like I was like, what? what? We're doing this? Me? Like, it was like me and you and Nolan and uh, his friend Jack. And I, we just like look at each other. We're like, yeah. in the theater, we're like, what is happening? We're doing this now? Okay. Yeah. I, I really liked the, again, um, that we got to see the characters that we got to see kind of all together. Uh, I, I do like brulee a lot. And <laughs> me too. Uh, it, it, it was, me too. I, I do. But it was, I guess, <laughs> a little frustrating um, that we sort of get teased. Like, obviously, Kobe and Helmeppo are in it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and there are others uh, that are in it as well that you might not expect there to be. Uh, but, you know, 
we are kind of getting like blue balled with Katakuri and Luchi. Like there's one Khalifa and Khalifa. I mean, CP0 in in general. There's one shot with uh, Luchi. um, And then Katakuri kind of comes in and out. And uh, I don't know. Again, Oda could have asked that uh, to be done purposely uh, because, uh, you know, the, 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 he's saving them, them for a moment in the manga. Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, in that moment, I was like, damn, like, I appreciate it on one hand. And so I will say it was a highlight because we don't get to see these characters often. But it's like, then why include those other characters at all? Why include the <laughs> fan favorite, like, Luchi? Well, the Josh favorite, Luchi. Yeah, that's, uh, and, yeah. And kind of pretty, if you're not going to really utilize them. To, I, it, it does, it makes the, it makes even, you know, like, Oda loves to do, it makes the world feel bigger. When we see these characters interacting with other characters that aren't necessarily involved in this huge thing that the Straw Hats are doing right now, it just makes everyone seem like they're doing their own thing, which I can appreciate from like a story standpoint. But I think, again, with these big time characters, with these, you know, we're what we're weekly readers now, what we know is going to happen very soon involves Lucci, involves all of them. Um, so I'm sure that, you know, with these big time characters, Oda's like, um, save it for the manga. You know, like we'll and, save and, it. No, and that's totally fine. I completely understand. But you don't want to like, get blue ball. You don't want to include it at all. <laughs> because and that's, honestly, and the, this might be another controversial opinion. You got hot takes today. I do. I do. Uh, uh, again, you know, I, 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 you know, I went in with expectations, and, and, I, and I'm realizing that. What uh, does red stand for? Uh, stop. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> stop. Damn. Um, but that's how I feel about Gear Five too. Honestly, mm. like. Honestly, as 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 much as I loved seeing it, uh, which I did like seeing it when it happened, but then nothing else happened after that. Mm. It was just there for that moment. I, it was mm. like, the, you know, you see the lines coming up and you're like, no fucking way. And in the promotional art in the chapter that we read before we went to go see the movie, like that is the new poster. Shanks on one side, gear five. So you're like, ah, and again, expectations, yeah. which. I'm not saying are completely my own fault for for having. Um, and then it's literally uh, that shot and then uh, a shot from, you know, you see Luffy from behind and he's in his gear fifth form. Mm-hmm. And then that's it. Uh, and, uh, you know, I I understand that they're not they can't spoil things for anime only. But my that's the same thing with my Luchi and, and uh, Katakuri point and even maybe more so with gear five than why. In- include it. I get it. It's like a wink and a nod, but uh, it it was a it was a giant blue ball moment for me. Yeah, yeah, I agree. At the end, I was like, oh dang, I really wish because we have like the dream world and you know Uta's fruit. Um, and again, this is gonna be like a shorter video, so we don't want to go like too too because we could talk for like two hours. Uh, but I'm ready. Dude. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> no, uh, I, 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 I was the one who was like, maybe we should try to keep it a little shorter because we can go on forever. Yeah. Now I'm the one like, we gotta yeah. go forever. I know. Uh, but I do think like with the sing sing fruit, right? The sing sing fruit. Yeah. Um, and like Luffy's fruit, I was expecting to see some like real crazy hijinks and Sue. Um, and I was excited, but it didn't happen, and that's you know fine. Um, and something else else happened that was really interesting to me um and probably made my blood boil the most out of everything in the movie Uh, i was gonna it was very it was very personal and i felt like oda was like calling me straight you felt like it was an attack you felt like oda attacked you that's what it felt like Mm. and i was gonna like write maybe in the sbs and just say like why did you include this why did you do this yeah why did you do this to like the thousands and millions of, of usopp fans around the world like why would you do this specific plot Anyway, why would you write this in the movie? Um, and people are going to be like, what the f- That was one of the best parts of the... Which I understand. Honestly, for me, it kind of was. Yeah, but. I know it was. <laughs> so, yeah, of course I'm talking about... If you know me, if you know anything about uh, us at all or, you know, our thoughts on uh, Yossup of the red-haired Your pirates. Um, Yeah, my thoughts. My thoughts. Uh, I, I was gagunked. I could say that. Um, I did like the aspect of the, like, blood lineage tying to being able to use hockey to see um, the other plane, I guess, of the dream in the real world. So, like, Katakuri was able to use it with Brule, which is really cool. And then we get to see it again with Yasup and Usopp. And um, I know this movie's not canon, so it really shouldn't make me this mad. But it really did. 
and it's stupid i know and i just i'm just i'm being honest and like my first gut reaction was like my gut saying your first reaction was Ugh. yeah i literally threw up no because it's just like you know they're like having this like great father son moment Sick. like you know teamwork and then yas was just like dude. yeah kid you miss me like Oh, uh, kid, yeah, I'm here to save the day. And I'm just like, <laughs> I literally want to literally cry. Because he's just like, I mean, I guess I have to have you help me. But he was also kind of excited. And it made me sad because, like, they didn't get any resolution after that happened. They they, they, they didn't get to meet face to face. It was just like... I, and again, this and brings again, me back it's to not my... Canon. It's not canon. This is not how they meet. And I know that. But still, if there's... It just... I was... Ugh. This and movie I, had a lot of like, why would you, why why would you feel the need to include this? Like the Uta storyline, it was strong enough that I didn't need all these other like again like blue ball moments. Like this was a moment that I was looking forward to the reunion of Yasup and Usopp. Um, and I know that this isn't canon either, but I did enjoy that. The, the the bigger reunion that I think like also kind of like I don't know uh, not not bothered me that's too I guess strong of a word but I, I I was just sort of like questioning why it was included in in the way that it was mm. was the 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 quote unquote reunion with Shanks and Luffy. Okay, yeah, um, I didn't count that. It was they always do that. They always do that. They're always like so close to each other, like so you know like touch and go like. I didn't even I, I was like, oh, of course, he's going to be sleeping like it is just going to be it's it is what it is at this point. Know, but it's like, every yeah. time they meet or every time hockey is felt or every time they're in the same vicinity, like it's just like they're not going to meet because Oda is the one who's going to write that moment. And it is going to be a huge moment when it happens, but it's going to be a huge moment when it happens. So why even like put it in the movie in this way where like. Shanks was right there because he's riling you up. In arm's length, in arm's length, he could have reached out and just touched Luffy. It's on purpose. And Luffy was passed out. It's like it almost sort of takes away from from. I mean, I don't I'm being, know. I'm being You're dramatic. Being, you it's are, not, it doesn't. It's, t- little... it's not going to take away. But uh, in that moment, I was like, "Why are we even doing this? Like, why are we even doing this? Like, I'm ready to see it. You know, when it happens. Like, I'm I'm gearing up. I'm it's amped up for, for that. And I know, I know, I know. Um, but it was like the, the Yasup and Usopp thing. Like, I know because of just your personal feelings towards like Yasup, which I you know understand. I understand. Uh, and I do understand that it was a really cool moment. That was probably one of the highlights that a straw hat had in, in the movie. I would say. Something brings me to my next point. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, what were you going to say? Well, cause you were talking about that a straw hat had and. Look, I, I know that, again, uh, every Straw Hat can't have uh, a huge involvement in the plot or you not know, every uh, Straw Hat can have this, like, huge moment in the movie. Mm-hmm. But I would have thought and have personally, Josh, myself, would have liked um, and thinks and thought it would have made perfect sense if Brooke had more of a, a moment or just had more involvement mm-hmm. um, in everything or anything that was literally happening uh, on, mm-hmm. yeah, you know, in this dream world with Uta at all. Because, again, he is the musician of the Straw Hat crew and he does have this moment, but it's almost like a moment that's included just so people can say, like, well, he did kind of have a moment. It's like. It really wasn't a moment. I mean, um, he's a musician of the crew. Bro, I'm hyped. Let me just. You're getting I, red for film red right I'm now. I'm red. I'm in the spirit. This is what you wanted. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. No, all I'm saying is I'm I'm pumped and I'm amped because of how much I love this series. Um, I, I do. I love it with my whole fucking heart. I love this series. And I love this this world and these characters. And Brooke is a musician of the of the of the Straw Hat, you know, crew. And I would have just liked for him to have more involvement, even if it was just more moments with him, like playing with Uta or just mm-hmm. I don't know, just this, this 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 was a movie about music and the musician didn't do anything. Like anything, which, you know, uh I and, and, and honestly, personally, I, I love Brooke too. I mean, I just I just love Brooke. Um but uh, because Frankie is someone else who I love and Frankie didn't have like a crazy moment. He had like one radical beam, you know, moment, mm-hmm. but like, that's fine. Whatever. Like, you know, it sucked a little bit, but, you know, not every straw hat's going to get their moment in the sun. Um, but uh, that was something that I was like, come on, come on. 
but again, anyway, you go, Megan, uh, and then I, I will get back to my highlights because believe it or not, <laughs> there, were, there, were, there were a lot of moments that I really liked. I mean, I would just say, like, obviously with every movie, we get to see cool outfits. Um, I loved their, you know, original outfits before they turned to the evil pirates that Uta saw them for. The bad guys, if you're going to be bad guys, dress like bad guys. That part was really cool. And that, like, the context of getting these outfits, like, why they got them. Because, like, these are what bad guys look like to Uta. Yeah. is just so funny to me. Uh, but, you know, obviously, like, Chopper, you know, being all decked out with all the merch and the light sticks. And just all of them being, like, musically, like, different music-themed outfits, I guess, was cool. Um, I did like those. I like Sanju's fit was just, like, fire. Fire, I mean, like, Law's we, fit, fire. I love curly hair Sanju. Sanji, I'm obsessed. Oh, yeah, Did he get a too. little perm? Me like, too. damn. Looked like the ocean water kind of gave him a frizz. Yeah, it looked amazing. Maybe that's his natural. Maybe Love he that. would straighten it. He, he would. would. He had, would. He would have like a straightener. He'd be like, Ch -ch -ch. And every time he's like cooking and he's a little crispy, he'd go. Ch -ch. Yeah, he would. Yeah, he he would. would do that canon. Um, but yeah, I like. I loved all their outfits. I loved Uta's designs. I loved all of it. All of it. All of it. Um, and believe it or not, I, I, I you know, didn't go in expecting any, any big Shanks moments. Like I, I really didn't. Uh, you're because, backing, yeah. no, you're, no, you're no. backpedaling so hard right now. Where no, did no, that come I, no, from? I expected, no, what I'm not backpedaling. I expected, um, <laughs> no, I'm not backpedaling. I expected maybe some Brooke moments. I expected, um, there were, there were things I, I did expect maybe like, maybe a little bit more, shanks than we got but i didn't expect like huge lore mm -hmm, dumps or like mm -hmm. huge crazy like mm. and i commend the, the movie for like sort of this like back half or this like third act that shanks is in where he is doing so much but also not doing, doing it, anything at all he's not not doing anything but he's not doing anything that would reveal anything about him like it is just a kind of and i mean this genuinely it is kind of a masterful way to include a character in a movie and not give anything away about like their abilities or who they are well we did get a reveal we did we did and i mean that would be like a nice wrap up to the to the video we we got his his last name or his first name what is it first name last name that we we didn't we didn't get that no i i don't you looked it up well we know i looked it up too and it is confirmed oh it is yeah okay then, F then figarland I've... which is like like fearland right figarland um, and I was reading this really, really, really awesome theory on Reddit just based off of, like, what this name could entail. And there's been a theory a long time that Shanks, like, is a celestial dragon. Oh, right. Um, And maybe his, like, this name kind of ties into that because, like, Shanks, again, being similar to Uta, was found in a treasure box or a box or whatever as an orphaned child. Um, we don't know where, I think. Um, I think Teching might have said God Valley. I think I I heard that too. You yeah. heard God Valley, okay? But you know he's but an he orphan. Found he's similar an orphan. to U Uta. Yeah, he's an yeah. orphan uh, found by Rayleigh and, and and Roger, which is the only reason why I said that that might not have confirmed that um, uh, uh, about his last name, only because again I'm reading subtitles and trying to watch this IMAX mm. screen at the same time, but. Because when the the Gorosei or the elders, when they when they, sorry, I, okay. I accidentally hit, hit Megan. I'm too <laughs> I'm too lit right now. Um, when they're talking about Uta, they're they're saying like that she's a threat if she has like that blood in her. And I guess I took it mm. as the reveal that she wasn't Shanks's biological daughter. I took that as oh well, then she wouldn't have that blood in her because she is not a blood. Uh, Relative, a, relative to to Shanks, but, but people that, were saying that they were hesitant to take out Uta because of that. Oh, they were hesitant to because take out. once they found out that Uta was not Shanks's biological daughter, they were like, "Okay, fuck it." Oh, uh, okay, okay, that makes that makes sense. Yeah, they're like, "Okay, we can just go ham now." <laughs> okay. But the fact that, that they're like, that "Oh, Figarlon, like, should we like rush into taking her out?" Right. And then they found out, like, oh, no, it's just, like, adopt this adopted shit, you know? <laughs> right, 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 right. Um, and I think that that big reveal, too, that Shanks is an orphan and that he was found by Rayleigh and Roger, like... Yeah. God Valley is what we've heard, and if that's true, then that could also add to that that theory uh, and make it even more plausible. Uh, mm -hmm. I um, I was really excited to see that. Like, oh, I yeah. Was, I was really kind of gagunk to see that, honestly. Like, what? Yeah, We're same. getting this? Um, that was huge. That was huge. 
Um, yeah, that theory, a part of it. Um, let me just find the. I think the name here is Explorer 67, mm-hmm. um, I believe. And there was just some really, really good, good points in here. Just talking about like, yeah, do we have to kill her even though she's Fagar Law related, Fagar Land related, Fear Land related? Um, and they find out that they're not. And uh, I mean, the whole celestial dragon thing is like really interesting because like that would make so much sense because like, how is he able to call an audience to the elder so easily? Right. How is he able to do the things he's doing so easily? Um, right. We don't know his whereabouts. And I mean, again, we just see how OP Shanks is. We got to see a little bit, you know, like you said, we're seeing him do a bunch of shit, but like not really a lot because it's all like kind of like out of reach, out of our sight, but we're seeing things happening. Him and Kizuru, another That's what I'm moment, saying. which was like, I was gagunked, my That's jaw was on the That's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, like, that moment was crazy because even Fujitora, like, you know, they're going back and forth, but, like, Kizuru, like, confirmed, like, Shanks is fucking faster than light. That is confirmed. <laughs> he catches up to him so quickly and so fast. His observation, like, his future sight might be that freaking advanced, though. Yeah, that, but I still, still. Yeah. I mean, like, such a threat. And even, like, Kizuru's sweating. Like, but, you know, Kizuru doesn't lose his cool too much, okay? He's pretty smug and pretty, like, on it all the time. He is sweating bullets. And then Fujitora's just like, you know, I want to, like, back down because I don't want to cause any more people to die. And I'm like, literally, you were just having a field day fucking killing people. Kizuru just killed a bunch of civilians. Now you're going to back down? Like, okay. Right. You want to use that excuse now? Okay. Right. And they just turn away! Like, that was awesome. I mean, it was just, like, back to freaking, it, it reminded me of, like, freaking Marine Ford moment. It was just like, oh, Shanks is here now? Bye. No, everyone on their best behavior. <laughs> Everyone's sitting up in class. Right. Everyone is uh, able to put their differences aside and, and calm down because Shanks is in the picture. Like, just, like, so, uh, again, like, that feeling of, like, dude, this fool is wild when we get to see it it's going to be wild and even the implications and like again the expectations are being built up so so much but again with with, in the manga oda you know oda oda pays those off usually very very well and uh, with a character like shanks him being one of oda's like favorite characters like it's gonna be lit yeah yeah um, and th- th- that was another hype moment too. I mean, this this uh, movie was full of hype moments. Um, the the Kizaru Shanks moment, even that reveal was a hype moment. Getting to see the dynamic between all the characters that we usually don't get to see was awesome. Beppo was hilarious. Like, you know, a- everybody mm-hmm. that was in it was 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 so good, and it was so funny. Uh, and it and the music was fantastic, and the visuals were stunning. Um, I just really wish to kind of. I, I just I just came in gung ho, I guess, <laughs> with my nitpicks, I guess. But um, my big issue or whatever, my my nitpicks were, are just that I, I would have liked. I understand that all the straw has going to be more involved. I would have liked if Brooke would have been more involved. Like there were certain things I, I just felt like didn't really need to be included. Mm. Um, like I, I, I will concede that, you know, seeing Gear 5 at all was sick, but it was kind of like a blue ball moment and seeing other characters, you know, were. I was a little like, I guess in the moment, I don't know. I'm being dramatic, dude. And I'm, I, 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 I don't know. Because it, again, it was so fun and it was so good. But I, to just finish my train of thought, yeah. I, I, you know, having Shanks and Luffy be so close, like, I felt like in that moment might have undercut. And it won't. Even saying that out loud, like, I, I feel so silly, but it, it really won't. Um, it won't take anything away from that moment when it actually does happen. But uh, yeah, even seeing Shanks' power, which we got to see and, mm-hmm. and, and seeing. Yasup and and how honed his future side is and, uh, and observation seeing some of the other is. red-haired pirates was really cool too um out and about yeah but yeah if you liked it let us know what you liked about it um if you loved it let us know what you loved about it and if you hated it let us know what you hated about it yeah any um, any any you know thoughts even yeah. if you're just little nitpicks or you know uh anything um but uh yeah overall uh, it was a it was a solid movie, and it's a movie that I definitely plan on on rewatching and need to rewatch. I need to rewatch, and I it. firmly I believe that the more I I watch it, um, or not the more I guess, just second <laughs> my second my second watch will will make me appreciate it a lot more, and and I'll be able to appreciate it for what it is, rather than what, what I what it thought, wasn't, what I thought, yeah, what it wasn't, and what I thought it was going to be, yeah. maybe what I even wanted it to be, um, but. Uh, 
Yeah. I mean, I think we covered everything. Oh, yeah. The la- the other thing I was just going to say. Can I say this? I'm sorry. We're sure. Going um, it's just, I know, again, it's not canon, but where this movie took place in the timeline, too, was just a little confusing, I guess, um, mm. which, uh, again, shouldn't be a thing that really bothers me. But it's like technically for Gear 5 to have have happened, it would need to be post Wano. But Big Mom is still a big player. So it's obviously like pre Wano. And there are other moments where like I even yeah, he's think not like, a he's not a Yonko yet. No, he's, he, he is. I thought they called him still a, a I thought warlord. They, uh, maybe they did. I, I don't remember. Because of Big Mom. Instead of an emperor. Yeah. Um, You could be right. I, I don't remember. But, I mean, that just, as much as that shouldn't have really taken me out of it, it kind of did. Because I was like, where is it? I, I know it's not canon, but I, I like to imagine in my own stupid head canon that these movies take place, like, in between adventures or arcs or yeah. whatever. Um, but, uh, I don't know. That was kind of a, a, a factor in it, too. But I, 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 I swear to God, I, I had a good time. And I swear to God, I... I uh, I did enjoy the, the tone. Uh, <laughs> I do have a hard time sometimes expressing like nitpicks and, and not making it sound like I hated everything about it. Uh, um, but that's gonna do it. I'm just gonna be too in my head about this, so I, we just need to move on. That's gonna do it for our uh, Yay! discussion on <laughs> One Piece Film Red, and we're gonna be listening to that album on repeat. Believe it, we're gonna be listening to it on repeat. Again, let us know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much uh, for your support. Thank you guys for uh, listening to this, especially if you're listening all the way to the very end. Um, yeah. And if you're not subscribing, you're still here. Please consider subscribing. Yeah. It helps us out a lot. Thank you so much. Uh, but that's going to do it. The only thing left to do now is to get out of here on our outro that is always the same and never changes, which today. Let me look it up. Megan should be. You have something in mind? Yeah. Is it a, a, a quote? Something from the movie? It's a lyric. Oh, it's a lyric. Okay. We're all waiting on the edge of our seats. Sorry. <laughs> Better be a good lyric. Okay, so it's, you know, she goes like, Shinji Tahita. Yeah, okay, I like that. That that was worth it. That was worth the wait. Uh, I'm not going to be able to say this, but fuck it. Here okay, no, then we should do it. We should no, do, it. do it. No, I'm going to do it. Okay. Okay, go phonetically. Okay. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Thank you for listening. And until next time. Shinji <laughs> You did it. You're Uta. You're Uta. Uta. Ha, 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 ha.